Welcome to episode 24. This is Ruben. Who are you? I have no idea because I might be genetically modified soon. Scary. It's scary but true. And this is what's happening nowadays with the fish. This is what we're going to talk about. We're going to talk about Frankenfish. Frankenfish. Uh, basically, it's been in news for quite a few weeks already. Repeatedly, and there's a lot um, of controversy, there's a lot of people against it, there's a lot of people in favor. So basically what it is, the FDA, the FDA is uh, about to approve or considering to approve a genetically modified fish. Yes. Yeah? Which I think is scary, to say the least. Well, let, let's talk about it. Let's talk about what it is, what, what we think. I mean, we're not genetically modified scientists. <laughs> not the last time I checked. Well, all, all we do is we teach health, right. and uh, let's talk. Let's talk about why we think it's you know, all right, good yes. or bad. <clears throat> what do you think? It's good, bad? I think it's horrible. It's okay. it's beyond bad. I mean, the whole basis of genetically modified organisms is to implant into the gene into the genome of that animal another gene of a different species. It could be a plant, it could be an insect, it could be an animal. And have that other organism that's made out behave differently or be less susceptible to certain diseases, to certain plagues, to certain behaviors. And I think that's scary. Because now we have a very dumb human, regardless of how intelligent they might be, playing God. And that's the last thing we need right away. Right? We only have one God, we barely understand them, so we don't need other gods inside of labs changing the course of nature. I think that's very scary and uh, we're threading in very, very uh, difficult waters. So ultimately what happens is uh, for whatever reason and uh, you know, some money reasons in many cases uh, there's a proposition to create a fish that grows twice as big, twice as fast. Yeah. Supposedly, it's to fit the planet and to make the food more accessible and cheap. Well, they're already doing it. And mm -hmm. the FDA is trying to create some type of a regulation. Keep that in mind. Oh, okay. 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 So, this is, this is my take on it. I personally think, from years of experience, that your body is an absolutely amazing instrument mechanism that been created by somebody that is uh, highly and highly intelligent. Now, our planet has been created by something very, very highly intelligent, and our food source has been created by something very highly, highly intelligent. We hardly understand anything about those three subjects. That's correct. I would say we don't even understand 1% of any of that. Now we're trying to create a new food source for people that don't even understand their body. Tell now, you. now I'm not. I don't have to be a scientist oh. to figure this one out. And I would say this: if you want to create something, create a new iPhone, create a new computer, create something that we can use. Don't mess with my food. I like my food just the way nature created it. I like it organic, I like it wild, I like to go catch it even myself. What do you think? I have to agree. You cannot improve on Mother Nature. Every single attempt that we have made in history has been a complete failure, regardless of what any scientist might tell you. We have not improved anything that nature itself created on its own. I think the only benefit, like I always look at them, what is the benefit there? So I see the benefit for the company that are going to create this food, yeah? I see potential to make a lot of money. Now I'm, I'm sure it's going to be sold cheaper than a wild caught fish. Well, for sure. Yeah? So it's supposedly going to fit the plan. Instead of having to go with the fish, you pretty much have it right there. All you do is Grab them and put them yeah, in. Yeah, you feed antibiotics, you put growth hormones, you genetically modify, you do everything just to get that fish faster from the smallest thing to the biggest fish. Right. 
and they're gonna give it, they're gonna be feeding these animals with the same product that we actually are subsidizing by means of taxpayers' money, which is just ridiculous. My take on it, Frankenfish. If you want to look like a Frankenstein, <laughs> eat a Frankenfish. Right. Is if you love yourself, if you enjoy looking at yourself in the mirror, right. if you're gonna get up in the morning and say, I feel excellent, right. go buy a wild caught fish, go buy grass fed beef, go buy organic vegetables, go support your local farmers. Go support people that actually care about you. And you're going to get up in the morning and you're going to feel healthy. That's right. You, basically, at the end, what you're doing is supporting the planet and supporting local farmers and fishermen and all these other people that are part of our surrounding that literally are an extension to our mouths. And it's important that you actually take in consideration that when you have an animal that's basically a mixture of different genes of different animals or insects or plants or whatever you want to make them up with, which I have no idea what the hell they even put into these creatures, I don't want to touch the stuff. And there's a potential risk that those fish that are genetically modified, they're going to be mixing with the stuff that's already wild out there and it could actually damage the species. You, you understand that you want to be part of the, extin of the extinction of one animal? That's serious. Remember that some species of, let's say, plants or animals are invaded species also. Let's say they bring something from, let's say, Australia. I think it was some kind of tree. They brought it to Florida. No, they brought the eucalyptus tree into, into California. And then most of the people have no idea how to get rid of it now. Now that's created by Mother Nature and we a lot of times don't know what to do with it. Now think of it like dumb us going to create something. Uh, what the hell are we going to do with that? <laughs> I always say, don't mess with Mother Nature, he knows best. So my point is, enjoy the best food on earth, invest in the best food on earth, support the people who bake the best food on earth. Yeah. And all this garbage, you'll see disappear. Right. When you go to your market, when you go get your fish, if you eat fish, like I do, you know, ask you the person behind the counter, is this fish Wild caught, or is it farm raised? If it's farm raised, you're running a risk of having, you know, food in your in your diet that is actually very unhealthy and potentially cause nasty, nasty diseases in the long run. Because, you know, if you don't want to be part of the longest experiment ever in history, which is happening right now with all of us, don't take part of it. Don't be another victim. Speak for yourself. Think of what's good for you. If you don't care, do whatever the hell you want. But in my opinion. You should stay away from anything that is literally processed, genetically modified. It's only going to cause one thing, and it's trouble at the long run, and sometimes in the short term. So, our verdict is no to Frankenfish. No Frankenfish. Go buy some wild cut stuff and enjoy it. Good. And if you have any other questions of what's going on with all these dams that are building and how these fish are getting, you know, intoxicated with all these heavy metals, Google it. It's the second, the second largest search engine in the world. Anything that you can think of, you'll find it in Google. Education is power. Absolutely. And knowledge, applicable knowledge is power. So go to, go to Google, type, you know, stop Frankenfish, Frankenfish, whatever. You'll have plenty of resources to back up what you know is actually right for you. That's it. Thanks a lot, guys. We'll talk to you later. Have a good one.